this is the robot you will be using. And that is our custom robot. And here is the program we used for that scene. Now we are going to see how to program this robot, starting from the basics. Use this command called move steering. You will, uh, you will mainly use this command to move the robot. You can change the power. Minus power is go to go backwards. You can change how many rotations the wheel of the robot does and steering to make the robot turn. You also can press here to, ch uh, to change the methods of duration. Here is what we just programmed. You can also program different motors, like the medium motor that is at the front of the robot that you will have. As before, you can change rotations and power. This other motor is an extra extension that we added to our custom robot. And as before, you can change the power and the rotations. A tip is that you can always touch the image of the motor to change some options. Here's the demonstration of the program. As you see, here is where the ports are situated. Make sure to, uh, to manage the cables as clean as possible. Those are the ports for our robot. They are very messy because our robot has a box around it. Now, the, here are the ports on your robot. At the back we have the ports for the sensors. And at the front we have the ports for the motors. On all robots you can only have 4 slots of motors and 4 of sensors. Now with how to use sensors. Go to the yellow section and grab one of these. I will also grab move steering and turn it on go to go forever until some seconds pass. Or you can modify the yellow command to change it into a sensor, such as the ultrasonic sensor. Make sure to check that the port is right, or otherwise it won't work. You can change all of these settings of the actual sensor. Now the demonstration. After the medium and custom robot moves, the robot goes forward until the ultrasonic sensor detects less than 50 cm. All of the yellow sections are for sensors. Make sure to experiment them. Now I'm going to add another play button and when I press play, the robot will follow both lines of code at the same time. In the second line, I'm going to put the loop of sound, specifically shouting. Also, remember that you can always press that part of the code to choose more options like the color sensor that can be used for many things. Make sure you try them. To end with, here are some complex programs with many functions that you can copy or get inspired with, like the follow line program. See that option? It means that if it detects the color, then it runs something. But if not, it runs another thing. And here the demonstration. Another program example. This one executes an order to do a mission. It first runs until the color sensor detects red, and after it follows the rest of the programming. And here you have the demonstration.